हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो मैं नेम इस सचिन कश्यप आई एम फ्रॉम द टेक ब्रदर दैट इज़ द कश्यप ट्यूटोरियल सो टुडे इज़ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एस एस आइडेंटिटी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो दिस दिस प्ले प्ले लिस्ट इज इंक्लूड दी लाइक ऑल दी टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन लाइक विच आर क्वेश्चनिंग इन एंटीवेयर दिस कैन बी रिफर्ड बाई एनी वन दैट इज फ्रॉम द बिगनर लेवल टू हायर लेवल एम्प्लॉय एंड पर्सन सो दे कैन यूज दिस फॉर द इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन एट देयर लाइक इंटरव्यू एंड फॉर द करियर एंड फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज वेल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द स्टार्ट विद द चैनल लेट्स सी फर्स्ट वन सो बेसिकली द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ वॉट इज एस एस आई एस सो एस एस आई एस इज अ लाइक SQL Server, like it's provided by the SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server Integration Service is a component of in the SQL database software that can be used to perform a broad range of data migration tasks. SSIS is a platform for data integration and workflow application. So basically, uh, the SSIS is a part of like a, it's a, a features of a SQL Server which can be used for the ETL purpose like uh, extract, transfer, and load. so basically uh, like a sql like a ssis we can use for the migration as well like a data migration and transferring the data from the source to destination like basically if you wanted to transfer the data from the uh, uh, one uh, another server to another server then in, in that case we use the ssis like a atl so this can be we can by using the ssis we can use uh any type of source like uh, any type of destination things like uh, it can be excel flat file uh, sql server excel anything okay so ssis can be used to extraction loading and transformation of a data by extracting data data from multiple source such as sql server database oracle database and uh, excel file it use cleaning and mag merging process to help make data more informative so let's uh move to the next question so next question is the difference between the data flow and uh, control flow so let's so about the uh, uh first we can discuss with about the data flow uh like a data flow between your selected entity so was transformation in destination moreover within a data flow task you cannot perform task such as a, a iteration component execution etc a control flow define a workflow of a task to be executed often a particular order and so basically i have gi uh, given the some uh, differentiate between the data flow and control flow it is a more information oriented and not based process data flow it can group data together based on the logic and transferring it into meaningful content you can see here in a data flow so basically data flow contain the flat file the source can be anything that is sql oracle excel flat file anything and by you, and it's a derived column derived column means like is, is there anything like a conversion derived column derived column it is used for the deriving the uh, uh like a uh, anything one or more uh, column with the help of some logic and uh, to transfer the data into the destination okay and multiple data batches can be co coordinated of effective processing so you can uh make the multiple data flow here in a data flow and data is extracted from the source and loaded to the destination later okay and in control flow it is basically to help to uh, help to ma managing the workflow like a first task should be data flow task it it contain the data flow and it will be it first it will get run and if it success then it will go to the file system task if it's fail then it will go to the send mail task like uh, it will be we can return anything like as per your uh, like understanding like uh, the data the data flow is failed or uh, we have received only some of the data not all the data okay it is more process oriented it can help in executing task either serially or uh, parallelly it help in processing data synchronously okay so so let's start let's see next question what is the next question yeah 
तो सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज प्रेसिडेंस कांस्टेंट इन एस एस आई एस ओके तो प्रेसिडेंट कांस्टेंट आर द ग्रीन रेड एंड ग्रे कनेक्टर ग्रीन ओके ग्रीन रेड एंड ग्रे कनेक्टर्स इन द कंट्रोल फोल्ड दैट लिंक द टास्क टुगेदर एंड कैन बी यूज टू मैनेज द वर्क फ्लो ऑफ अ पैकेज एंड हैंडल एरर कंडीशन नो बी अवेयर दैट द ग्रे प्रेसिडेंस कंस्टेंट लुक अ लॉट लाइक अ डेटा पाथ इन द डेटा फ्लो बट दे आर मच डिफरेंट ओके सो सो प्रेसिडेंस कंस्टेंट इज यूज फॉर एनेबलिंग एंड एनेबलिंग द developers to define a set of tasks logically and define the order of execution these are connected used for connecting all the tasks to each other like you can see here in a image i have pasted like uh, basically the uh, execute sql task 1 it will be the they, they are having a th three precedence like uh, one one is a green task one is a red and green so basically one green one if one is successfully then it will go to the task 2 and task and if it's get failed then it will go to the data flow task 1 by the red line okay and there is having a task 3 as well like uh, we are accepting the data from the two source of uh, task like a ta task 3 and task 1 the data if success then it will go to the task 2 okay so this is called the uh, precedent constraint okay now move to the next question like the next question is uh, how is a ssis runtime engine different from the ssis data flow pipeline engine okay so the ssis runtime engine ma manage the workflow of the package during runtime which means its role is to execute the task in a defined sequence the data flow pipeline engine is a responsible for executing the data flow task of the package there are four main component of ssis architecture they are like ssis runtime engine it manage the workflow of the ssis package okay and data flow pipeline what it does it does the work of managing the flow of the data from source to destination and also look after in a memory transformation ssis object model it programmatically create manage and monitor all the ssis package ssis window source service it manage and monitor the package these are the functionality of all the four component of ssis architecture okay that's it move to the next question that is how to create deployment utility in ssis so it it, it is very important somewhere in a interview question interviewer will ask you about the how to create deployment utility in ssis so it's a very simple but uh, it's a simple because of that no one uh, remember that uh, easily so about if you wanted to create the deployment utility just you have to go to the uh, visual simply right click on the ssis project in sql server data tool and select the property in the property page dialog go to the development utility page and change the create deployment utility property to true as shown in the below screen as shown in the above screenshot this is set to false by default basically it is uh, most mostly it, it's a uh, set to the fault uh, false state you have to just uh, click and uh, select the true and then click on the okay button okay uh like uh, you can check at your and uh, probably you will get the option to the uh select the true option for the create deployment utility and click on the okay and it will get created yeah about this video that's it just comment it and uh, give your feedback if it's good or not or if it's there anything changes in a like explanation or uh, something then please let us know thank you so